Hello and welcome by another video of the Arcade Saga. I just shut off uh, this uh, ventilator. Um, it's my biggest one and my strongest one. And I have it, in, as you can see, uh, right, sit right in front of the door. And it blows the fresh air from outside inside the greenhouse. It was just an idea I had a few days uh, uh, back because it can get quite quickly quite warm in here. But this really works. It, uh, the differentiation is uh, about 5 degrees um, most of the time, sometimes even a bit more. And it's now here 23 degrees. I don't know if you can see it. And But as soon as the sun just uh, start to hit the greenhouse it is uh, up to uh, 30 uh, quite quickly but yeah as you can see it's now um, an, uh, a, a more suited temperature I think these uh, can take the plants I have in here can take the uh, yeah the 30 degrees but they not really like it so uh, yeah therefore I have this uh, big one in a door opening but it really works but I did shut it down now for this video okay enough about that because uh, a few videos back I did an update on my biggest and my best growing orchids and I thought that is nice but we can learn um, way more uh, from orchids plants that do not grow as well as we would like because uh, that's how we learn I think so therefore I'm today I'm filming my not so good growing orchids <laughs> um, yeah let's uh, let's have a look I'm going around my um, my greenhouse and I start filming uh, them. Uh, first I'm gonna start with this one. This is my Harvianum, if I'm correct. Yes, Dendrobium Harvianum. I have this one 2019, uh, so at least for two years, but probably three years already. I uh, think this is the reporting date. But um, this one I had it in a pot, it did quite well. I had it in uh, rebloomed quite quickly but then it did go downhill quite quickly as well <laughs> so it didn't uh, do as well as I thought it did um, I changed it into semi hydroponics I couldn't grow uh, I, I, yeah I couldn't keep the roots it did grow uh, some roots but it couldn't keep them and then I decided to mount it but I couldn't keep up with watering on a mount and then I decided yeah I I'm just going to put you back in self-watering and you need to cope with it. I will try my best to keep an eye on that pH because that was my problem uh, back then that I had a too low pH in a pot and I figured it out so I thought I'm going to give you a new try and yes I, I didn't even saw this one but look we have a spike that's funny um, Okay, <laughs> maybe it's doing better than I thought it is. Let's let's have a look if we have some roots. I see some salts uh, building up. If you remember one of my, uh, a few of uh, my videos I talk about that I do not flush unless I see salt builds up. So I'm going to check this one. Maybe it has too much fertilizer still in the pot and I try to get it out with one hand. Oh yes, look. Oh, this is doing better. Finally, and we have a beautiful root there. Okay, that's. I had no idea, I must admit. I just left it there. Sometimes, maybe you uh, can rely to it. You tried so many things, it's just. If you like to live, you can stay here, but this is what you get, you need to grow. And I didn't notice this one um, that much anymore because I did get this small new growth, uh, some failures. This is a new growth, but it's. It's, it's uh, rotted off. So yeah, I thought, yeah, I'm going to leave you, put you aside. But uh, yeah, this is coming back. We have a spike. At least on that one. Um, yeah, I see another one. Oh, this is beautiful. I had no idea. This one, it was hitting uh, like this. So I, I only saw this leaf. But it's, uh, there's a spike. And I th yeah, I have another one here as well. There is a spike as well, and we have one here. My Harvey Young. Finally! <laughs> oh, really? Uh, this is making me happy. I think um, 
this architect and I did found an uh, agreement on how we need to grow it. Keikis who are losing their uh, roots, or lost their roots, that kind of stuff was happening. But yeah, this cake is going over. This one is getting root. So, okay, this was uh, a plan that didn't do so well, but it starts to grow again. That is beautiful. Let's move on. This one is a very slow grower, but I had this filmed uh, earlier. This one is also spiking, so I think it's doing better. It's not, not beautiful doing. These are just all small plants, but uh, doing uh, fine. <coughs> I'm sorry. For an exception for my Peter Kamp. This one is a strange one. Same story as my Harvianum. I tried everything on this this one, but it, I seem to be uh, not couldn't get it to grow. But this year it finally starts making quite a lot of roots, as you can see. Also, I said to this plant, this is what you get. You get self-watering. I keep an eye on you, on your um, reservoir, on your PPMs. But that's it. You need to grow, otherwise you will not survive. And I'm not kidding you guys, I did say that. And uh, I think um, <laughs> maybe it helped, I don't know. But um, maybe uh, because I didn't mess around uh, with them as much. And that's obviously not, that's always better. If, if Don't change it too much. If you uh, are putting them back, for example, to bark, don't change them back into cell watering after a month because they, they just cannot take uh, that much. Um, messing around basically so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave this alone but I wanted to show you this as well do you see this um, lighter spots around the leaves this one doesn't have that this one does this is the same plant um, variegation that was the word that I was looking for I'm sorry I kept it lighter and um, if I'm correct, if you have um, variegated plants, you need to give them a little bit more light than the ones who doesn't have that variegation in them. But this plant is the same plant, did get the same amount of light, but one is showing it and the other one isn't. To be honest, I like the green version. I'm not so happy with the variegation. I'm sorry for you guys, I know there are a lot of people who really like it. I know. I, uh, I I love green, but yeah, that's uh, it w is what it is. But yeah, it's it's strange. I'm just gonna leave them and see uh, what they will do. These guys are working on their comeback. These are the guys who have fusarium, so go I will not go into them too much. I have here a Pepheopelum Pinocchio. It's just not doing well for me. A friend uh, took this for me, or bought it for me. Um, so it's a special one, but I, I, it's just not happy. I don't know. Same story. I'm just gonna leave it. This is what, what it gets, and uh, yeah. I'm not going to mess around with moss and bark. I just don't do it. So maybe the plant hurt me. <laughs> um, so to Arnhem is coming back. Was my fault. I had a way too low pH in the, in the, the pot, and I didn't notice that back in the days. But this is one of my first plants. So, but you can see it's getting back. And seriously, guys, I didn't plan this, but while I'm filming, I see another spike. I I promise you guys, I had no idea when I started filming. Um, but yeah, it has her roots in the pot again. So I, I definitely can let it bloom and really enjoy the plant. It's really starting to get this growth back and, and start to get bigger because this is not a big plant for the Sotuanum, if I'm correct. But yeah, I was learning and this plant was... Uh, had to take that up, my learning curve. But see, it did survive. And I'm really proud because, oh, did I make mistakes. <laughs> These guys, same story. It's starting to come back, but uh, the pHs in these spots were so low. They had no roots whatsoever. But they are starting to come back. Even this one, it's making a bigger ball. And this one is, I'm sorry, I forget to take. Uh, Oncidium varicosum belden black. Belden black, something like that. This one is very... Um, 
how do you say, sensitive to uh, to how it's planted and how the environment is. I think yeah, I think this one is quite quite sensitive to um, if you do it correct. This one can take a little bit more. This is the dancing lady, or a variety of it. But um, it wasn't do so. Did I'm sorry, it didn't do so well. But it's starting to come back to me. No spikes, I think. <laughs> you never know. Let's let's check. Uh, well, inside there is something. Could be a new growth. I'm not sure. It's a very teeny tiny little green point. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to bloom as well. But it has some roots, so I'd probably leave it on there. This one is also mistreated it badly. It's a big plant doing so well. Same story as the Sotianum. So what I basically do is uh, I now have my notes. I have that filmed already, but I will film it again. I keep notes of uh, what is happening in that reservoir, pH-wise and PPM-wise. And since I started doing that, my plants are really coming back. And I really personally now know what... what I kind of start to know what's happening in the reservoir, that's it. I don't know how much calcium is in there, how much magnesium, whatever. I, I give that to them, I have a PPM rate, but I'm not really... I don't know what is in the water, but I know how much is in, is in there. And that is something I work with. Uh, I wish I could know everything what's in the pot, but yeah, we don't know that. And these are my um, twinkles. You probably recognize them already. This one has a spike here, this one has a spike here and there, and I now see this teeny tiny one getting a spike as well. This was the first growth, and this is the last one. Normally it's the other way around, so yeah. I don't have to explain to you guys that this one was in trouble as well. Same old story, almost. <laughs> too much, um, too low of pH. I had it out of the pot, in of the pot, I was learning, I was um, afraid that I did it wrong, so I repotted again and again and again. Don't do that. They, they, you need to give them time, and orchids can uh, sometimes need quite a lot of time, and we can't talk about years, actually. But these guys are starting to come back to me again. Again, same story, I keep an uh, eye on the reservoir, the PPMs, and that really, really works for me. Because I don't flush. Um, only when it's really necessary, in, in my opinion. That's just how I grow, I don't, uh, I want to stress it out again. I'm not against flushing, but I just don't have the time. So I came up with another system that really works for me. And obviously it starts to work for my plants as well. Um, Meanwhile, I'm keeping an eye on the Argus. If I missed something, my Dendrobiums and uh, Phenolepsis in general are doing way better. Same story. I now uh, keep a close eye on the reservoir PPMs and they really respond to it. Beautiful, healthy new growths. Uh, flower spikes that are longer giving more f more flowers than ever this this i never had a big spike on this it's quite a small plant but it's a beautiful big um flower spike this one behind it it's the anna green splash this is the anna green it has decided to make two spikes and the blooms are here for um two months already i think and i never had them uh, in bloom that long these two guys i there was one it's actually is this one this one blooms incredibly long but also this one is now making new growth starting to bloom doing way more than before and this one I don't know this one is growing and growing and growing really really big cane so I'm, I'm very curious what this one is about to do because we are hitting a ceiling almost so uh, yeah I will have some troubles here but that's okay that's the, those are the nice troubles. And here we have some young dendrobiums. They are starting uh, to grow as well. So they are doing fine. This one is rather new. Yes, but you can see this is the... Uh, there were two plants in one pot. One is... Uh, I think it's already dead. Sadly, th those hadn't much root on them as well. This is the uh, Aberrant's crossed with Bilocu... Cooler something. I'm sorry. 
for the pronunciation. And I hope I have some uh, roots from this plant inside the pot. I'm going to take this one out. This is this this is dead. But yeah, this is one of this uh, probably my most saddest at the moment. Well, actually, those two. This one I will come into in a minute. But yeah, same story. What I do, I don't feed it. Only uh, well, very light feeding, I should say. Probably more just a pure oral water with some seaweed in it to keep the roots going. Of try to get the roots going again. We have some lo uh, leaves still left, but I. Hmm. I don't know. This one is a very, a very poor state. This one as well. This one I, is in my collection from the from basically from the beginning that I re uh, collect, restarted to, to collect orchids again. So that's about four years ago. It's finally starting to make some new growth. It did wonderfully well in Sebehydroponic, and then it lost all of its roots, and I had no idea what was the problem. And uh, when I did notice the problem, it was almost too late for this one. But it's still here and it's really, really trying. And I see the first roots growing into the uh, pot again. And I have three new growths here, but I think we have a fourth one as well. I hope I can underneath that growth. Yeah, that's, so we have four, probably four new growths. It's, that's beautiful. So we hope they will give us quite some roots. <laughs> okay, moving on. This one is a division, but it's making uh, four new growths. It's a Cattleya type, my first Cattleya, and I will give this one away. It's not in a very poor condition, but it doesn't look very great, but it's really recovering. This one is a fairly new plant, but it's taking quite a lot of time to get it to grow. I think it will manage to grow, but it's having a hard time. So that's a little bit sad, but it, it happens. Um, but yeah, of course, it happens because the plants aren't, aren't that strong. But I don't want to use it as an excuse. If I'm, I'm kind of hard on myself as a grower, I think, because I am responsible now. They are now here, so I know yeah, if the plants are not healthy, you have a job to get them uh, back going if you even if, if it even is possible but still I, I yeah I think it's now in my hands so this is my doing so far and uh, I feel really responsible it's my job to get this one going and I will try my best I think it will be okay but it, it this, that one takes quite some time and the rest is here fairly new um, I saw Yesterday, a, a new uh, growth on my golden elf, and that it makes me happy. I, I, I'm sorry, you guys. If you, I hope you can see it, but there, just above my finger, it's very dark in there. I cannot get the camera to focus on it as I would like. Those little little uh, little <laughs> white dots you see are uh, new roots, so that's a good uh, sign. I'm sorry, I, I have uh, too much backlight, so I, I'm not really sure if you can see it, but it's making a new growth. And what I also noticed is that it's replumping again, so yes. Oh, because, uh, yeah, as you probably know, I never get a chance to get this one again. This is the uh, Ivanagara Golden Elf. Yeah, but it's doing uh, it's doing its job. It uh, had a rough time, but it's coming back to me. Same as this one, it's the Alba, Violetia Alba, little plant, seedling plant, but it's working on new roots. It had a rough time, but it will uh, will be back, as are, are these guys. Um, here I have probably one of my first Vendas, it's not a big one, it's the um, Blue Magic, but this one is... I treated this one two days ago, I think, again for spider mites, they, it, they keep coming back to this plant and it's just not happy. It, it, for years it did, did bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom and it's still in bloom, the blooms are going over now, they were quite, but I, the roots, I just cannot get it to grow, it will try, does a new attempt to make new roots. And here and there, so maybe I have it hanging again. Maybe it likes 
that a bit more than being in a vase. But um, yeah, I think the rest is doing okay here. Do I have more? This actually this one. It's my Alba version of the Psychopsis. Had lost quite a lot of leaves. I think f about four of them. I have a little bit of sort of mold going on there. But it has uh, roots in the pot. The pH is okay. The PPMs are okay. And it's still blooming and it's working on the new growth. And because we have healthy roots in the pot, I decided to leave it in the pot. And not disturb it, even though uh, this one is all, uh, is here from on here from mom, so it's shriveled, it's an old, it's gone. It doesn't hurt the plant, I think. I know I take a risk here, but I am willingly taking that risk because of the other bulbs. I don't want to disturb them, so therefore I'm going to leave it and take my chance. It's a from the beginning, it's a weak plant, but then it had me as a new grower in semi-hydroponic and self-watering. That wasn't helpful, <laughs> I must admit. Now I know what I'm doing. Now I can help them as much as I can. It, there's always a uh, boundary on how much you can do, but I now know what I'm doing. Uh, I learned quite a lot, but back in the days, this one had a hard time. This one was even er before, uh, even a bit earlier, um, in my collection and this one but this one is doing uh, pretty fine so yeah this this plant had barely any roots this one had roots and it has a beautiful new growth there this one is just dried up but it has two more blooms quite big blooms let me show you quite uh, they're quite quite big so that one is doing well and this is for now the last one, this is an epidendrum. I had it uh, too close to the roof, it's still quite orange, but then it starts to green up, so I think that is part of how the, this plant is growing. Let me, oh I cannot get the tag out. Um, let me grab the plant itself, I think there are some roots attached. Yeah, there are roots behind it. Um, oh. Thomas, Kathleen Thomas, oh, uh, oh, oh, age, ah, oh. <laughs> Thomas, ah, oh, I think. Um, okay, this was a freebie, but I uh, really like it. Um, but yeah, this one has the habit to uh, make very purple leaves, and then they start to green up, but. This one had more leaves, it also had um, spider mites, so I had a treatment for it. Yeah, this new growth is looking way better, so I think we are uh, back on the right track again. But still, yeah, I'm really keeping an eye on this one. Yeah, so I think uh, we have now a uh, close-up of the ones who are not doing so well. Oh, actually we have one here. This is a strange story. This one is <laughs> blooming again, but it had crown rot. As you can see, it's very dark there. It had it for about six months now. It's still okay in a pot. It, uh, it uh, has roots in a pot. It's not working. Yeah, it's actually... Oops, let me show it to you guys. It even has a green root tip. So I'm going to leave it. I hope for a keiki. But I, this, the fragrance on these blooms are fantastic. This is the... Uh, I get it uh, because I saw this one on Annabelle's from the Arcade Room. It's the Fal Japan Deep Coffee crossed with the Zeng Min Turtle Dove. It's, it's, the fragrance is fantastic. The blooms are beautiful, beautiful yellow color, but the fragrance citry like. But I, I, li I really like citric uh, fragrances. So, uh, but yeah. I don't know what this one wants, but I just leave it now and we will see if it's going to make a cake. But I don't think we will get a new leaf from that crown. Because I think it's completely broken, but who knows, who knows. But yes, yeah, kind of black. Okay, um, yeah. Those were um, my most struggled, uh, struggling orchids for now. And actually, they, most of them did even better than I thought, like the Heavianum. Heavianum, I had no idea. We had roots, we have spikes. So actually, I think we... Uh, that one is really close to be recovered, I think. 
Um, what I won't, um, what what I will do watch now is when it starts to make new growth and how big those new growths will get. If these uh, new growths get a uh, beautiful uh, height, beautiful side to them, and get bigger, maybe as big as the other ones, the better canes, then I think we are have a uh, recovered uh, orchid. And the other little dendrobium, um, this one, the fairly new, new one, I have no idea. I'm just going to leave it, I'm going to spray it, uh, on the warmer day, so it keeps uh, it, its immunity around it, and hopefully it will make some roots. And I will take this one out because we don't need that. Okay, so that's uh, about how I go um, work with plants that are not doing so well. I'm not doing much. I must admit, um, I keep an eye, uh, like I said, on the feeding. You don't want to overfeed them. It's they, it doesn't serve any purpose. But besides that, I uh, will keep an eye on them for warmer weather because they, if they lose even more um, nutrients and more uh, moisture through the leaves, that's not a good idea because they uh, have a hard time being here on <laughs> and try to grow uh, as it is already. So don't, I don't want to make it even harder. But that's basically it. But as usual, if you have any questions about it, please let them let me know in the uh, comment section below. And I hope you like these types of videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye bye. Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And I just shut up, uh, shut off, <laughs> shut up. <laughs>